Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good wherever you are. Um, we're on day two of the 14 day mindfulness challenge. Today I wake up this morning and um, there's some things have changed. Uh, our Prime Minister Boris Johnson has now said that social isol isolation now is, imp is important. Um, all the pubs, bars, restaurants, uh, gyms, everything is closed. If you're not going to work or you're not going to the shop to get essentials, and please again, do not bulk buy, do not panic buy, be considerate to those others around you. Get what you need. The shops will keep filling. There's a supply chain behind those shops that will ensure that we keep our food stocks and everything else. Please buy what you need and let somebody else buy what they need. That's what that one's over. Um, be considerate, be empathetic. Yeah? Empathy is rising, remember what we said? So we're on to day two. So it's it's now, you know, isolation is, 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 is here. I want us not to be afraid. I want us not to fear. Um, you know, there's thousands of people who have had coronavirus who have come over it. It's a very small percentage of people who have serious illnesses or even a smaller percentage of those people who die. So, you know, just do the sensible things. Wash your hands, stay indoors. You know, if you've got a cough and you're on your own, self-isolate for seven days. If you've got a cough and you're in a house with other people, self-isolate for 14 days. We can flatten the spread of this disease, but that's not what it's about. Today, this is about mindfulness part two. Okay, so you're on day two. I'd like to know your comments of how you got on on day one. And day two now is about us getting back in. And we're still going to keep doing the loving kindness meditation. Around about day seven, we're going to check a body scan in, which is where we can sit in and exactly see where we are and, and what's happening, etc. But all I want you to do, and I'm going to put up the recording from yesterday, save me doing the same thing twice every day. Um, so, but what I want you to do really is, is just to think about, you know, and make some comments of how you're progressing. And if you want, you know, keep a journal. You know, day one, I did my meditation and I felt this. Day two, I did my meditation and I felt that. Because it'd be great to journal this progress. And, and at the end of it, you know, pop your own videos up, pop your own things up and, and let's have a, you know, send me your videos and, and let's, let's link it all together to see how, how things have gone forward. Today, I want to just speak quickly about some of the myths about meditation. Because yesterday, we'd have, you know, we'd have all gone into, yeah, I want to do the 14 days of meditation. Yeah, I want that. I want that. I'm going to do that. You know, it'll help us, you know, it, it, mindfulness reduces stress, anxiety. It builds our immune system. It gets us thinking left to right rather than right to left, which is all good because it, it fills our bodies with, with, en, with endopamines and, and endorphins that allow us to, to learn, to grow and create and transform. But it didn't work for me. I've done one session and why am I not the Dalai Lama? Well, it's simple, because what we practice, we now understand grows, but we need to cultivate this over a period of time. So uh, there's, there's sort of seven, seven myths, really, um, about meditation, and, and there's a couple more in between, really. And, and you know, what I want to say is, is that, you know, people say to me, and, I, and I've written them down here just to make sure, meditation is difficult. The truth is that the meditation of sitting and being with your breath is as difficult as it gets. The complications come in and say, well, you know, and this is myth number two, I'll never be able to meditate because I can't quieten my mind. I can't stop my mind from thinking. Well, that's not the idea. Mindfulness meditation is a single point of focus, whether that's a mantra or your chest, your breathing, with no judgmental thoughts. And, and giving those thoughts, we said yesterday, a loving kindness. Having the ability to breathe that thought in, accept it, acknowledge it, love it and let it go. So today, for instance, if I'm meditating, I'm thinking, oh, you know, I, I, I can't go to the gym. I breathe it in, I accept it, acknowledge it, I love it and say, but that's for my benefit. And off it goes. Let, let it hold no, no weight over you. And the third myth is, it's going to take years for me to benefit from mindfulness. I said some people might have done it yesterday and gone, well, I haven't worked. The world's still the same. Yeah, but your small part of the world, your little bit here, we've started, we said before, we started cortex thickening. We've started to, to drive another little groove into your mind that allows you to be kind to yourself, to be loving to yourself, to allow you to, to have these beautiful thoughts. It takes time. 
But there are studies that absolutely prove that mindfulness works. Go and Google it. Spend half an hour outside of this video Googling the benefits of mindfulness. Scientifically proven to help people through tough times with anxiety, depression, da 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 It's there. It saved my life. And I'm not just saying that. Meditation is escapism. I, I don't need to do meditation. I'm, I'm a real. I'm in the real. Yeah, I'm, I'm a man, you know. And, and, and the purpose of meditation isn't to, you know, to tune out. It's actually to tune in. Yeah, I'm not talking for you to tune out. Uh, look, there's millions of forms of meditation and we all do different things. I'm talking about Julian Jenkins and, and what helped change my life. And that's why these 14 days, I hope, can make, a, make an impression on your life. So it's not about tuning out. It's actually about tuning in. So it's not about escapism. Um, and people say, I don't have enough time to meditate. Well, that one's out the window now for a lot of us because we've got too much time now. And, um, you know, I I'm talking about 10 minutes a day. Okay, these videos are longer because there's an intro and this and then. But if you want to cut me, cut me and go straight to the um, meditation. It's not a problem. But make time. Meditation requires spiritual or religious beliefs. Quite the opposite. Um some of you may know, um, I believe there's two sides to my life. There's the spirituality, which is the connection with myself and the connection with nature and connection with people, you know, building that inner connection and love through mindfulness meditation, yoga, nidra, all these different bits and pieces, going out, walking the dog, kicking some leaves, okay? Being connected, being in the moment, living in the present time. And then there's the spiritualism, which is a belief system based on the ability to be able to talk and contact with spirit. Now, I appreciate that some of you will be watching this because I'm doing the ality, not doing the ism. And, and that's fine. And I think both lends itself to each other. But uh, spiritualism is a belief system. Spirituality is a way of life. Spiritualism is a way of life as well. But in the main, that's how I separate up. So you don't need any religious beliefs. You don't need to believe in anything. You just need to believe in yourself. That's the only belief system you need. You need to believe in yourself, the ability to be able to grow, practice, transform, change, learn, all of these things, okay? And the seventh one is, um, am I supposed to have, you know, transcendental experiences when I close my eyes? When we're in this beautiful meditative state, do I transport to another world, to another place? Yeah, you can do, and I do a lot of meditation, and there's meditation specifically to do that, and it's on this channel. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about mindfulness, okay? Uh, yes, you may experience certain things, but then you may not. And that's not a problem. What we want you to be able to do is to be actually focus on your mantra. We don't want you slipping off everywhere. We want you to be here. We want you to be present. We want you to be in the moment. We want you to be holding your space, as they say, okay? So there's some of the, you know, bits and pieces that we talk about, about mindfulness meditation and, and the things, um, you know, you see. Um, and, and a lot of people say, I'm not good at this. That's, that's the point. You're not meant to be good at this at the minute. You're meant to be cultivating. You're meant to be moving it forward. You know, people, I can't relax. I can't meditate. You know, that's fine. And everybody's the same. You know, and the final thing is, you know, is this just all weird new age stuff? No, this has been happening for thousands and thousands of years. It's just now the West has woken up to the ability to be able to you know, change the way we think and change the things that we do. So, to cut to the chase, you're not meant to be good at it. It wouldn't have saved your life overnight. It started to plant the seed. So cultivate it, be with it, enjoy it. Do all the things you need to do for your coronavirus. Make sure you're sensible, wash your hands and everything else. Try and fit in 10, 15 minutes a day. Let me know your comments. And don't worry, just sit and be. So I'm now going to cut across now to yesterday's video of loving kindness. Be love and give love. And at the end of it, you know, just make a note of what you're doing or put something in the comment section. Um, you know, tough times. But what's the saying I you? Tough times don't last. Tough people do. So just be in there. Stay in there. Play the long game. Everything will be fine. Trust and believe. Be love and give love. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, see you tomorrow. Day three. Make sure you do it. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. So I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to put a nice image up. And I'm going to sound a bell for us to start. And all I want you to do now is focus on your breath. Breathing in. And breathing out. 
Breathing in and breathe it out. And just focus on where your breath is. Where do you feel it most? Is it through your nostrils? Is it on your t-shirt? Is it on your jumper? Where do you feel? Do you feel your, your belly moving in and out? Breathing in and breathing out. And to start this, we're going to offer loving kindness to ourselves. And I want you to focus on the intention of these words. And I want you to continually repeat these words. And if you have a thought that comes in, you welcome it, you love it, you let it go, and you come back to the mantra. So as we're breathing in, I want you to say these words. Breathing in, may I be safe. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I be happy. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I be healthy. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I live with ease. Breathing out. Repeat the mantra. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Continue that mantra as you're breathing in and you're breathing out. And if you have any thoughts that come in, you welcome them, you love them, you let them go, and you come back to your mantra. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. Welcome this beautiful love into your life, to be kind to yourself, to connect in with yourself, to love yourself, to heal yourself. May I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, May I live with ease. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Now what I'd like you to do is just, with your eyes closed, choose someone in your life that you love or someone that inspires you, someone you think about, who you're grateful for. And I want you to picture that person in your mind. And on this occasion, as you're breathing in, you say simply, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. This is loving kindness for somebody else who is Someone you love, someone inspires you, put them in your mind, see them and set the intention of may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. And don't forget, if you have a thought, just let it welcome in. Hold it. Don't put any judgment on it. Accept it, acknowledge it, let it go. And come back to your mantra for this person that you love. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you live with ease. Now the focus, we're going to focus on someone you know who's having a difficult time at the moment. Maybe someone who's ill. And we're going to offer them kindness. So if there's somebody you know who is in self-isolation or isn't feeling very well at the moment, I want you to place their, your intention in your mind, with them in your mind. And you say again, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. This is somebody who you know who's having a difficult time at the moment, who may be ill, 
Set the intention of that person, put them in your mind's eye. And as you do, you say to yourself, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And if you find your attention or your mind wanders, don't worry. Just love it, let it go. And return back to your phrases, your mantra. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. These mantras are now your anchor. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. Now what I'd like you to do is choose someone in your life that you might have difficulty with or have some tension with or have had an issue with or something hasn't sat right between the both of you for a little bit of time. This one can be difficult, but we set the attention and we put them in our mind's eye and we say to them in our mantra, breathing in and breathing out, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy and may you live with ease. And again, if something, a thought comes in, I want you to allow it in, accept it, acknowledge it, put no judgment, love it and let it go and come back to your anchor, your mantra. For the person who you may have had difficulty with, have had an argument with, there's some tension between you. Set the attention, put them in your mind's eye and say, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy and may you live with ease. And if at any point you find that difficult, then you can just direct it back to yourself. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Now I'd like you at this moment to direct your loving kindness, your attention and your intention to all forms of life, people, animals, all beings, those people who need it most all over the world at this very difficult time. And I want you to say for them, may all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Breathing in, and breathing out and again if you have any thoughts you let them in you let them go and off you go may all beings be safe may all beings be happy may all beings be healthy may all beings live with ease breathing in and breathing out may all beings be happy may all beings be healthy may all beings be live with ease May all beings be safe, may all beings be happy, may all beings be healthy, may all beings live with ease. Take a deep breath in and as you do, I just want you to slowly just recenter yourself on the chair and get your sense of awareness and feel your twiggle your fingers or, or move your toes and come back into the room and open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I always enjoy it. I'm on day three with you guys as well. Just one thing before we go, I hope you remembered that when you woke up this morning, you put your hand on your chest and you said, good morning, Julian, I love you. Obviously, you didn't say Julian, you said your own name, but good morning, Julian. I love you. If you haven't done it, then put your hand on your heart now and say, good morning, whatever your name is, I love you. I hope you have a great day. Um, be love and give love. And I'm sending healing and prayers and, and love out to everybody at this time. Um, you know, 
I keep saying it, but I hope the coronavirus has minimum amount of losses and the maximum amount of impact. Empathy and compassion and love is rising. God bless you. Have a good day. See you tomorrow for day three. Bye-bye.